Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this stretchy kind of a typography animation inside of After Effects without using any plugin. It's a super fun effect, looks very cool and it's very easy to create even if you are a very fresh or very beginner in After Effects, you'll easily be able to create this effect following this tutorial. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. All right, guys, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition called this render as a main render comp. I'm going with the width and height of 1500 pixels. Frame rate is set to 30 FPS and the duration is set to 10 seconds. Press OK. Then create another new composition. This is going to be a text placeholder. So let's call this text and change the duration of this to two seconds and one frame. All right, make sure you keep it two seconds and one frame. Press OK. Select the text tool and type in whatever text that you want. I'm going to type in stretch. All right. For the font, I'm using Dharma Gothic. You can download this font and the free project file link is in the description below. And I'm going to align this into the center just like so. Let's select the text layer. Right click and go to create and create shapes from text. We can now delete this. We don't need it. All right. Then press S to bring down the scale property, unlink this and let's scale this up a little bit like so from the center somewhere around there. All right. And then press Ctrl R to bring up the rulers and drag the guides like so. All right, then we can take this back to 100. And now what we need to do is select the layer and go into the search panel and search for path. So there we go. Now we can hide the guides. I mean the rulers control R. We only need the guides and let's create a keyframe at the very first frame, just like that on every path that we have here. All right. And once the keyframes are created, let's press U so we can only see the keyframes. Let's go to one second and then I'm going to select the path just like so make sure all the paths are selected. So I'll drag this just like that and create a selection. And then holding shift, I'll stretch the text like so. There we go. Same, I'm going to do this right here. I'm going to select the points and drag it holding shift. There you go. And then go to two seconds. All right. Copy this keyframes, control C, control V to paste it. So now we have something like this. Pretty cool. Let's select all the keyframes, right click keyframe assistant and easy ease them and then right click go into keyframe velocity and let's set this to around 90 and press OK. So now if I preview this, we should have something like this. Pretty simple and easy. So our text is ready. We can hide the guides. You don't need to see it. Then select the text layer or the shape layer that we created. Go into effects and presets and search for an effect called warp. Double click to apply that. Set the warp style to I think it was squeeze. You can play around with different number of presets that we have here. But for this result, squeeze works very well. And let's set the bend to around minus 40. All right. And create a keyframe. Go to one second and set this to 50 and then again to two seconds i'm going to copy paste the same keyframe control c control v and again i can actually select all the keyframes and easy ease them and then set the keyframe velocity to 90 as well just like we did before so now when we preview this this is what we get pretty cool okay now let's create another new composition and call this echo. Press OK. Drag the text composition inside this and let's go to effects and presets and add the echo effect. Let's set the echo time to minus 0 0.05 or maybe 7 should be fine. 
let's see what we get okay that is way too much so let's set this to 07 and let's increase the number of echoes to around 20 should be fine all right that is looking better now to make them a bit more smoother i can set this to six i think six should be fine or maybe let's go with five okay this is better and we can increase the number of echoes to 25 all right that is looking good now let's create another new composition and call this animation press ok drag the echo composition and the text composition on top just like so we can add some fill to the text so we can differentiate it so let's type in fill into the effects and presets double click to apply that let's keep it white for now so now when we preview this we have something like this pretty cool now let's go back into our main render composition and drag the animation comp that we have right here select the layer right click go into time enable time remapping stretch this layer like so and hold alt and click on the stopwatch and i'm going to add a very simple loop out expression with open and close brackets or parentheses press ok so we have a continuous looping animation okay so now let's go ahead and add some nice color to our animation so i'm going to press ctrl y to create a new solid call this bg for background put this at the back and let's add a fill i'm going to make it a nice darker blue color okay that is looking nice now let's select the animation comp and go into effects and presets search for triton effect apply that and let's set the white color to a nice yellow that looks nice and set the black one to a darkish orange i think something like so you can even use a tint effect here but i think triton works much better and the results are much more convincing so as you can see this is looking really nice let's preview this okay so this is looking quite interesting now let's add some textures that you will get inside the project file of this so we have a number of different textures that will make the complete look much more interesting so first i'm gonna add the paper texture that we have right here on the top okay we can scale this down a little bit like so and change the blend mode of this to multiply so that's going to add a really nice texture onto the letters as you can see right here it's looking really nice then we have the paper texture overlay one i'm going to drag that on the top and change the blend mode of this to overlay so that is looking much better and then drag the paper texture overlay two and i'm going to set this to probably a screen and then bring down the opacity just so that we have a nice rough feel here and now let's preview the complete animation and there you have a nice stretchy text animation in pixelate style one more cool add-on that you can do to this is add a nice posturized time to get that nice stop motion kind of a feel so i can go right here and create a new adjustment layer let's call this post whatever that you want to call it go into effects and presets and search for posturized time apply this and change the frame rate to 12 fps and now if i preview this we have this nice cartoonish feel into our animation which looks pretty sick so that is a wrap for today guys if you enjoy this kind of typography animations i have a complete playlist ready for you that you can binge watch right now link is right over here you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions and nikhil pavar and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always Stay raw, stay creative, peace out.